This is a bandsaw. In my opinion, the bandsaw is one of the most useful and versatile saws in any wood shop. It can make almost any cut that any other saw in your shop can make. It can do it with precision, accuracy. It takes a little bit of a learning curve to master the bandsaw, but once you do, in my opinion, this is one of the most fun saws to use around your wood shop. This is the new Grizzly 0513A40 17 inch 40th anniversary bandsaw. So if you're brand new to woodworking and you have no idea what a bandsaw does, I'm gonna go over a few of the functions and features. That way you can better understand what we're about to be talking about in a few minutes. So this is called your table. It's the flat surface that the piece of wood you're cutting is gonna ride on. So underneath the back side of your table, there's actually this lever that you can turn and unlock and then tilt your table to whatever degree cut you might wanna make. This is called your fence and it slides up and down on your table and determines how wide of a cut you're gonna make up against your blade. One of the really cool cuts that you can make on a bandsaw is called resawing. And to do that, you would attach your resaw fence to your regular fence. It just slides on right here like this and locks in place. Now you would run your piece of wood up here when you're making your resaw cut. This particular resaw fence has a really cool attachment on it called a drift bar. What the drift bar does is it helps you control the piece of wood that you're resawing because sometimes when you're resawing, your blade tends to try to move one way or the other. This helps you make adjustments quickly. That way you can help keep your cut as straight as possible. Now obviously, this is our bandsaw blade and it rides on two wheels. You've got an upper wheel and a lower wheel down below. So now we're gonna move on to a few of the cuts that you can make on the bandsaw. First type of cut we're gonna be doing is called a rip cut. Similar to what you would do on a table saw, we're gonna set the fence to our desired width and then just make our cut. This type of cut is great for breaking down rough cut lumber. Next, we're gonna be cross cutting. So we're going to use our miter gauge to help keep us at a 90 degree cut. And this is similar to what you would get on a miter saw. Speaking of miter saws, you can also cut miters with this. Just set your miter gauge to whatever degree you want and run it by the blade. Our third type of cut that we're gonna be doing is called resawing. Now, when you're resawing, you're not gonna be using the same type of blade that you would if you were making miters or cross cuts or even ripping. So we're gonna be using a wider blade here with less teeth. This is gonna remove more material and make it a lot easier to break down bigger stock. So with that new blade on, we're also gonna attach the resaw fence that we spoke about earlier, along with the drift bar. So you want your drift bar to be about a quarter of an inch back from your blade and you're gonna use that drift bar to help steer the wood. Every once in a while, your blade will try to drift one way or the other, and this drift bar helps make corrections a lot faster than it would if you were running right up against the resaw fence. Now the last type of cut we're gonna be doing is a curved cut, and we're not gonna to wanna to be using the same big blade that we used when we were resawing. We wanna be able to make nice sharp turns and not have a lot of hang up and a big blade like this is not gonna do the job. So we're going to swap that out for a really small blade right here. It's got a lot more teeth per inch and it's gonna be able to make nice sharp turns with a lot less resistance and a lot cleaner cut than a big blade like this. For resawing, your blade's only gonna have about two to four teeth per inch. But when we're cutting curves like this, we wanna have at least 12 teeth or more per inch. It's gonna help you make those nice tight curves. And that is why the bandsaw is my favorite saw in the workshop. If you guys have any questions or want to know anything else about the bandsaw, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them.